it's great to be able to sing the truth. Be with me, Lord. We're going to begin this morning our study of the books of Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. And today, we're going to be covering chapters 1 through 4 in the book of Joshua. The title of our lesson is simply, Be Strong and Courageous. Let's be turning over to Joshua, chapter 1. Most scholars mark the timing of the events that we're about to study at about 1400 B.C., though some would use a later date of 1200. We read this in verse 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. You know, this text is a continuous text from the book of Deuteronomy. And yet I think to fully appreciate this text, I think we, we need to learn a little bit more about the man that inspired this book, Joshua. Our first glimpse of Joshua was in Numbers chapter 13 as one of the 12 spies that went into the promised land. Except at that time, his name wasn't Joshua. See, Joshua was the name Moses gave to him when he became a general. At that time, when he first had some prominence among the Israelites, his name was Hosea, just like the prophet in the Bible. And Hosea just simply means salvation. But we know that God, in this passage, is raising Joshua up. That God had used Moses to raise Joshua up. And so most likely, when Joshua became the general of the armies of Israel during the Exodus, Moses himself changed his name from Hosea Salvation to Joshua, God's Salvation. Now, Joshua is the Hebrew. In the Greek, his name is pronounced Jesus. He has the same name as our Savior. And we'll spend more time in future lessons looking at the parallels of Joshua and Jesus.